What's going on guys? In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you a new concept that you can use out of the Trips Tied In to be able to absolutely torch the meta defense in Madden 21. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is focusing on helping people become the best Madden players that they could possibly become. And so if you wanna get better at this game, I just wanna encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel. And it just allows you to be able to stay up to date on the latest tips and strategies right here on my YouTube channel. Now the play concept that we're going to be going over today, you can do this out of any play, but we're going to be doing it out of the doubles in sale. And this setup specifically requires either a tight end apprentice or hot run master quarterback. Now most of us at this point in the year have one of those two things. And so if you don't, um, you can still do this, but it's not going to work as well. And what I'm going to be talking about is this new way that I like to run trips tight end. And so um, this is just something unique. I was kind of messing around with the spacing. A lot of people say they like to run trips because of the spacing. And in this video, we're going to kind of talk about, like I said, just a new motion that not very many people do, but something that I think is really, really valuable because of how good the running back curl or option route is and where that route actually is going to sit on the field. So we've all seen people do something like this setup right here where you see I have an option around and delay fade. The problem for me is that those routes literally sit in the same spot or maybe something like this, whereas you see there, um, that is no different than something like that, right? You, you have these, the problem is that these routes, they kind of go to the same spot because they kind of are in the same spot. The running back is five yards or a couple yards behind the tight end, but he's kind of in the same area. And so um, how we can really leverage this is basically by doing this. What we can do is we can take our tight end who gets tight end apprentice and we can put a post on him just like this. And then what I like to do is smart route that post route and then motion him to the outside and leverage the power of the table route post combination now this is reminiscent or rem, re, reminder of gun bunch, right? This is a concept that we like to use um, in gun bunch. And so now we've got excellent spacing on this play. And what you're gonna see is against the meta Mabel coverage, now we've really stretched that linebacker out too a little bit more because now what we get is we get this gun bunch element where we have this outside guy that has to pull um, you're going to see that because this tight end is now outside, he pulls that. You see how he pulls that corner? But we can still run basically gun bunch Z spot on the backside. And now we've got this, this great combination here um, that you can really leverage. And what's really cool about this is this doesn't limit your trips passing. You still have all of your really great concepts from trips tight end, as you can see right here. But now you've got this great post route that they absolutely have to use her over the middle of the field. Um, and so this concept, I think this could honestly be one of the best passing concepts in the entire game. It's really simple to run. Um, it's I can't believe I never hit me to try this out. But this is like really, really hard to get pressure on. Like it's really, really hard. You could do something like this right here. So I've got a quick read on the left side that I can look to quick. If they're dropping coverage back, I can hit that quick read there. If they send pressure, I can hit the, you know, I can hit the, the running back. And let me show you what that looks like. So if they're, you know, if someone's sending pressure out of this defense, you know, it might look something like that. Um, but because of this motion out, you see that that corner on that outside can't make a play on this table route. So if I see that linebacker, but there's nobody over there, I can just throw that easy, you know, easy little read to the back. The other thing I really like about this is this really helps things like curl flat. So if I put the tight end on a curl route, and then I can basically run another concept on the backside, maybe something like PA counter go. Um, and so now you see, now I've got really good spacing out of this concept, and I can do so, so much out of this with this formation right now. This is becoming my favorite way to run trips tight end. So if you haven't tried it out, I would encourage you to try it out. It's a little wrinkle, but it's really, really, really good. It's really, really hard um, for the defense to defend everything. They can't, it, you're, the cool part about this is also that it starts as a trips. So the alignment is to trips tight end. And then you do this little adjustment here. So what's really good is let's say they're in man blitz. Let's say they're, they're doing a the man blitz. 
We'll look at this, see, see where the corner's at. Now, if I motion this guy to the inside, now watch if they do that. And you get this look. This is very common. So now when I motion out, I've got a one-on-one -on -one with a safety or I've got a back route wide open. This is easy. It's like taking candy from a baby, man. This is a really, really good spaced concept. And what I love about this is if we look at where the routes actually get to on the field, that's one of the main reasons why I really like this because now you have like just great, great spacing. So um, you still can run all of your flood concepts. So for example, if I wanted to run this, and let's say that I wanted to do that, I could still do this, right? I could still motion him across, and I could still run this corner route to the short side, which I think is one of the best, most underrated routes in the game. I could still do that if I want to, but now I also have all this other flexibility that I didn't even think about. And it's been, I've been running trips tied in a lot this year, but this concept right here, I think, makes this such a unique offense. For example, it just gives you so it just gives you better spacing, man. Like you motion this guy out right here, and you could do like a mesh post kind of setup, something like that. Like this setup right here, super good. Um, you could also do something like like this, right? You could you could do this kind of setup. Um, but now these drags, they they can. When you drag someone from the outside as opposed to from the inside, the inside drags are better for like man coverage. The outside drags are actually better for zone because they drag all the way across the formation and go through every zone really, really nicely. So, you know, today's video is not exactly necessarily a, a specific setup, although I think I did give you one out of doubles and sale that you can use. Another way I really like to run this uh, doubles and sale setup is to use this three by one hitch. So I could do that. And then I could do something like that. Now I've got hitches on both sides, and I've got you know these great, crop, great, great uh, corner routes. See, look at that hitch; just hold him inside. It's absolute laser. So, um, you know that's that's uh, a concept that I'm myself am going to be tinkering with over the course of the next couple of days. I think you should begin tinkering with this concept as well. Um, I think the spacing alone is really, really powerful. I've been messing around with some gun trips. The problem with most gun trips is they just don't have like, they don't have an effective route necessarily. You know, you don't get this route right here, this post, um, but now you do from three by one. So now I could run, to, you know, stick on the backside, something like this um, is one of my favorite. This is one of my favorite concepts right now. Double hitches to the backside, so if they send pressure, I've got this triangle receiver. And then if they play coverage, I probably still have the hitch, but now i got time to let my post route set up. So this is a lot of fun. I'd encourage you to try it out, especially in Mutt where you've got a good quarterback. you probably got a good tight end with tight end apprentice. This concept is really, really good against a lot of different defenses. So try it out. Let me know what you think. It helps with the spacing. It helps with the spacing, and that's the key, getting that user to – to not be able to, to not be able to cover everything over the middle, right? We want to force them to have to take the right middle or the left middle that's going to open up pockets that we're going to be able to be able to throw into. So, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you try it out. If you want to get my trips tight end offensive guide, it's down in the description. I think the New England Patriots playbook is going to be the best playbook next year, and I think trips tight end is going to be the number one offense that you're going to see, especially with some of these new wrinkles that we're adding into it. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to get the offense, it's down in the description.